Okay, everyone, just want to make a short clip about uh, packing your food. Uh, as all my clients know, I preach to them all the time about packing your food. Packing your food is just uh, a basic uh, technique to help you stay on track. When you don't have food with you and it's time to eat, what are you going to do? You're going to order out, you're going to drive through somewhere, or you're going to go somewhere. When you're trying to lose weight, uh, whether you're going to compete like I do, or if you just want to lose 20 or 30 pounds, eating is the key. Eating is what got you overweight to begin with normally unless you have some kind of um, um, medical issue. Uh, so eating is the key. So part of starting an exercise plan and changing your life, because that's really what you're doing, is changing how you eat. And as a society, everything we do is based around food. Somebody gets married, we eat. Somebody dies, we eat. And so for you to change your body, you have to change your mindset about food. So first, let's start off with the cooler. You guys should all have a cooler. And notice this one's pretty big. Uh, I'm a big guy and I eat a lot of food. So the, the little one that you would uh, send to school with your kid uh, won't cut it for me. It would just make me angry. So I have a big one. All it is is it's a big plastic uh, bin with a little pocket on the side and they come in different shapes and colors and stuff I think I got it you know for 20 bucks at Myers or something so you gotta have this number one and then notice all the containers I got and we have zillions of them uh, you gotta have these plastic containers if you don't have these go out and get them and get them four for five bucks or something like that also crucial guys is a shaker cup uh, this particular one is a blender bottle uh, I've used a bunch of them over the last 20 years and uh, this one uh, does the job the best. It's got a little wire whip ball inside that helps uh, break up the uh, clumps of the protein powder. So those are basics guys. Uh, if you don't have this stuff, go out and spend about 30, 40 bucks and pick up, pick up what you need. Okay, so today um, this is what my meals are looking like. I've already eaten. eaten uh, my first meal, which was an egg white omelet, well, it had one yolk in it, but an omelet with uh, spinach and tomatoes in it and uh, oatmeal. And that's a typical breakfast for me, or I'll just do egg whites, you know, uh, without adding anything in it. Okay, so now today on the menu for me is chicken, which is here. This was grilled and it was seasoned. I didn't use any marinades, no liquid marinades, because they have a lot of salts and sugars and stuff in them. Uh, so I use dry rubs. I believe this is Mrs. Dash from McCormick's or something like that. And then my wife made this up last night. This is ground turkey, pinto beans, and white rice. I hate ground turkey. I despise it. I loathe eating it. Uh, but I have to do it. It's what's going to help me reach my goal. Uh, so I figured I'd jazz it up uh, to help me to help me get it down. Uh, so that's what this is. And as you can see, I already have a piece of chicken on a food scale. This food scale cost me about 10 bucks at uh, Target. doesn't have to be anything fancy. Uh, I guess the job done. So as you can see, I've already got a chicken breast in here. And this chicken breast measures out at about 4 ounces. If I were to eyeball this and guess, I would have guessed 6 or 8 ounces. So that shows you how good I am at eyeballing food. So uh, we're going to take that and it's a little bit less than I need it to be so I'm gonna add in another half here should be about two more ounces yep so I got two ounces so I'm at a total of six ounces of chicken for this meal which is where I want to be okay so next up is gonna be uh, my uh, ground turkey mix here there's a couple ways. I could scoop this into this um, uh, food scale or I can use uh, this scoop which is one cup. So then what I would do is just put the food in there. I'm not going to mash it down. But there's a cup right there. Now when my wife prepared this before she got started she wrote down the total amount of carbs, protein, and fat in this. And <clears throat> Um, this is a hundred and seven. Now this is two pounds of, of ground turkey, two cups of rice uh, before it was cooked, and I'm not sure how many pinto beans uh, she put in there, but this is a total of 173 grams of protein. Um, let's see, 
and 214 grams of carbs. Um, and the fat is 52 grams. So there you have it. So, uh, as you can see, I uh, can pretty much eat on this all day. I won't because of the rice and because of my carb situation for my show. I'm not going to eat this all day. Uh, I'll probably have one or two servings of this, uh, but the rest is going to be chicken. And then, so what I have left here is another chicken breast, which is um, probably six ounces. We'll measure that out. Um, sorry, four ounces is what I meant to say because that's what the other one was. So that's where we're at with that one. So then what will happen is I'll pack that one up. And so I'm out of chicken because my wife has the rest of the chicken with her. So for what I'm carrying with me right now, this is it. So I've got 10 ounces of chicken total. I've got some cucumbers and tomatoes and then I have a little salad kind of the same deal except for I have spinach there I uh, also have some sweet potatoes um, those will not be eaten by me today um, my wife will eat some of these and I will eat some of these tomorrow I will uh, cut them up and weigh them so that I get the amount that I need so right here I have enough food not counting the uh, sweet potatoes right here's enough food I've got three meals going uh, since this is only four ounces I'm going to do a half a scoop of my uh, ground turkey to give me a complete meal there. So meal one, meal two, meal three. This will go with either one of them. And then not pictured because i got to pick some up. Uh, I'll probably have an orange with one of the other meats and that will be another meal. Now it's 10.39 in the morning so this is enough to get me through early, uh, or I'm sorry, late afternoon. Uh, by dinner time, um, we should be home and uh, having something else. Okay, guys, I hope this helps out. Again, preparation is the key. Have containers, have a cooler, have a shaker cup. Um, the other thing I forgot to mention in detail is protein powder. Protein powder is very important. Um, I'm using V-Core by Complete Nutrition. And I will have this with me to have either with a meal if I don't get filled up or in an emergency. Like I said, I should be home by dinner time. But if something happens, it is snowing out. Uh, something happens, I get trapped in traffic or whatever or I get stay at work. Uh, I'm not going to go hungry because I have protein powder here. Alright guys, I hope this helps you out. Please give me some feedback, both positive and negative. Um, and I look forward to uh, seeing you again. Thanks.